Touchdown. Rivera almost stopped it there. Mike Tyson's known as a great finisher. Let's see how he does with Ferguson. Was in trouble in both the first and second rounds, and now he's in trouble here. Blood coming out from the nose of Jesse Ferguson. The right uppercut of Tyson has put him down. The string goes to 18 and 0, and you saw the explosive punching power which has made him the talk of the heavyweight division. Tyson explained in his post-fight interview how he feels his power will always be the deciding factor regardless of the skill set his future opponents bring. And the way they they have it planned in their mind to beat me is to jab, pot shop, and grab me. But it's 10 rounds, and eventually I'm going to catch them. Did you approach this fight with a little bit more respect for Ferguson physically, the left hook, than you might have brought into your previous bouts? Not at all. I was just a little leery because of the lack of experience, but I was surely com comfortable when the fight was over. When I came out the ring, I was going to be the winner. Okay, Alex, we saw once again a sensational performance by Mike Tyson. Breaking Jesse Ferguson's nose, what do you have to ask the young man? Well, I'm just impressed, Michael, that you don't appear winded at all, that you appear to keep your poise, you paced yourself, and you showed that uh, those critics who say, A, that you may have chin problems, and B, you may have stamina problems, uh, you answered those critics to an extent today against a quality opponent. Well, um, only thing, I can't change any opinions. I just have to continue fighting and have to change their opinions on themselves. After seeing this performance, perhaps they still have doubt.